Today, I'm going to be showing you guys the new absolute biggest screen window jump shot in NBA 2K22 next gen and current gen. But first, please like and subscribe. It helps me out so much, literally costs nothing and takes 5 seconds. So starting things off, I'm going to be giving you guys the number one biggest screen window jump shot on current gen and next gen. And then after that, I'll do fast and big man replacements. Starting things off with the biggest screen window jump shot is going to be set shot 7. I'd recommend for the upper releases to use 70% Paul George and 30% Magic Johnson. So as I said, this is the biggest screen window jump shot on current gen, making it very easy to green. It's medium speed, so not too fast, but also not too slow. Plus, if you can time this jump shot correctly, you will be rewarded, meaning that this jump shot doesn't give you that many full bars. For this reason, this jump shot is super good for low three-point builds. Overall, I think this jumper is probably best suited for lockdowns or spot ups, but it's also going to be pretty decent for guards and poppers. If you do use meter, this jump shot does work pretty well, but if you don't use meter like me, then of course you're gonna need to learn its cue. The cue for this jump shot is pretty much you're gonna want to look at the ball. You will then notice that it comes up, almost pauses by your forehead for a second, then it gets launched towards the basket. So pretty much for this jump shot, the cue is, is you're gonna want to wait for the ball to begin accelerating towards the basket after it has already paused for a few seconds. If you're still confused, just wait for the ball to start moving towards the basket like right here. You guys can see and will see all my cues are actually before he releases the ball. Because if you're playing park, there's a little bit of delay and you need to take that into account. So yeah, that was the number one biggest screen window jump shot on current gen. And now we're going to be talking about the biggest screen window jump shot on next gen. For this jump shot on next gen, the base is going to be 73. I'd recommend equipping 50% 62 and 50% Paul George because these, in my opinion, give the easiest cue. However, this base 73 jump shot, as I said, has the absolute biggest screen window jump shot out of all usable jumpers. This is not necessarily, in my opinion, the best jump shot, but it definitely does have the biggest screen window. This jumper is kind of slow but i will show you guys a fast jump shot a little bit later and additionally it's not the prettiest jump shot in the world or the smoothest one positive thing that i will say about this jump shot is that it's super good for high delay which means if you play on a tv or live far from a server this could be a very good option for you now for the cue of this jump shot is going to be very very similar to the previous jump shot but you're going to want to look at the ball and wait for it to begin to move vertically once you see the ball begin to move vertically release square like right here both jump shots that I just gave you guys are on the slower side of things, which I know some people just cannot stand. So if you want a fast jump shot instead and you are on current gen, then I'd recommend using base 15, at least one 60% Paul George, or at least two Kevin Durant. I only recently started using this jump shot and it's very good. Of course, it has a massive green window and its green window is actually only slightly smaller than set shot seven, but it's also one of the fastest jump shots in the game. Additionally, it's pretty versatile. It's gonna be good on all builds and it's very, very smooth. The cue for the jump shot is going to be this. As you know, previously, I told you guys to wait for the ball to begin to accelerate. However, what you're going to want to do instead is wait for the ball to come fully backward. Once you see the ball has come back all the way, you're going to want to release square like right here. On next gen, if you want a fast jump shot that also has a massive green window, then you're going to want to use base Derrick Rose. I'd recommend using 65% release 161 and 35% Kobe Bryant. At the start of season four, for some reason, the base Derrick Rose jump shot that I was using with my old upper releases just wasn't hitting the same. So I recently started using these uppers and now I'm able to green much more consistently. The jump shot has a massive green window and is also quite fast. The jump shot's not super pretty or smooth, but at least for this jump shot, that's not really that big of a deal and it still feels very, very good and very easy to green. So now moving on to the cue. The cue for the jump shot is going to be pretty similar to the current gen fast jump shot. What you're gonna wanna do is look at the ball and wait for the ball to come entirely back before releasing square. So I usually aim around here. I think with faster jump shots, this cue works much better because it forces you to release square earlier. The four jump shots that I have given you guys so far up until this point are very, very good, but I've yet to give you guys a jump shot that works for big men. So starting things off with the big man jump shot on current gen, we have base 107, release one 60% 13, and release two 40% Paul George. And for big man on next gen, we have the exact same jump shot. Usually if a jump shot is good on one game, then it's a little bit worse on the other game. Before this jump shot, it's just super good on both games. Of course, this base 107 jump shot works for taller than 6 foot 10 players. And on both games, this jump shot has an absolutely massive green window and has one of the biggest green windows for big men on both games. 
Plus on both current and next gen, it has decent speed and is very easy to green. Plus he also jumps pretty high and has a high release point, making it harder to contest and block. Also from my experience, defenders don't get that many contested animations on this jump shot. So even if you are a bit contested, it's still easy to green. On current gen, it is slightly faster and also has a slightly bigger green window. That's kind of just how the game works on current gen. In general, there are faster and better jump shots. Additionally, this jumper is super good with meter. Obviously, I don't use meter, but I have a friend that does, and this is his personal jump shot. However, for those of you who don't use meter, you have two cues you can use. The first cue is you can look at your player's feet and wait for him to get to his apex. Once he does get near or at his apex, you can really square like right here. And the second cue and the cue I personally use is you're going to want to wait until you see your player's wrist snap like right here. Overall, I just gave you guys the absolute biggest green window jump shot on both current and next gen, as well as big man and fast variation. If you did enjoy the video or found it helpful, drop me a like and subscribe to the channel. There's a gameplay video, a dribble tutorial, and dribble moves on the screen right now. Like, comment, subscribe, go follow me on Twitter, and I'm out. Peace.